Could this OLED gaming monitor change the game? I was surprised to find a huge gem, which I think is my favorite feature. Can you guess what it is? We'll get into that, the pros and cons, and answer this question. Did LG's new release, the 27GR95QE, just set the standard for gaming monitors moving forward? I've been lucky enough to have reviewed many TVs from different manufacturers since I started my YouTube channel. But in my home, you'll find four OLED TVs. What do I look for in an OLED? Inky blacks, colors that pop, low response time, and a better overall visual experience. What's on your OLED checklist? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, some of you may not know that long ago, I used to work in the video game industry, testing games for Vivendi Universal Games. So if you're into gaming and want to create new worlds for people to explore, check out today's video sponsor, Southern New Hampshire University, and see if their game development program is right for you. New technology is changing the game and there is no time like the present to invest in your future and turn your passion for gaming into a fulfilling career. Are you ready to get to the next level? Check out Southern New Hampshire's online degree program at the link below. You will learn how to create realistic gameplay experiences using game AI, game physics, 2D and 3D graphics, and interface design, along with learning C++, C Sharp, Java, and 3D modeling and texturing with game art software, SNHU will give you all the tools you need to power up your skills and become the wizard behind the curtain. Their online tuition rates are some of the lowest in the nation, and you can learn at your own pace, on your own time, and from the comfort of your own home. Classes start October 23rd, and the deadline for registration is October 21st. So go to snhu.edu slash technodad and sign up today. Nerd is the new cool. Find your cool at SNHU. Now, when it comes to assembling the 27GR95QE, it is super simple. Align the two stand pieces together and use the thumb screw to tighten. Mount the display onto the clips and you're good to go. The phrase game changer is thrown out all the time, but in this case, it's actually true. LG Displays is the one making the 27 inch and 32 inch OLED panels for the gaming monitor market, which means other companies are going to be getting these displays from LG and producing their monitors. So the 27GR95QE is in fact a game changer. Now let's get into my favorite feature. Did you guess what it was from earlier? Well, at first I was disappointed that this monitor wasn't 4K and it was only 1440p. Currently I'm using a 27 inch monitor that is 4K 60 when I'm doing gaming, but I wanted to just take the leap and just say, hey, this is the new one, it's an OLED, let's just go. I was completely stunned when I went into the Xbox TV details screen and it looks like the 27GR95QE does support 4K 120 hertz gaming. You can see it right here. This is awesome. I can play games on the Xbox Series X in 4K, 120Hz, HDR, VRR on this 27 inch OLED monitor. So I tested it out with both Xbox Series X and PS5 for the past few weeks. Playing various games on both consoles and watching movies and shows through Netflix, Vudu, and 4K UHD discs on the Series X. And I have to say that this little OLED acts just like its big brother in my living room. If you're worried about input lag, don't. HDTV test measured input lag and it's pretty much instantaneous. They also measured an end to end latency and it turned out to be 12 milliseconds. Now, if you're thinking that's a lot, LG TVs usually have somewhere around 40 milliseconds of end to end latency. So this is way faster than any LG TV. So with inky blacks and colors that pop, your gaming experience will also be lightning fast. Speaking of colors, you get five picture profiles in HDR mode, and the most accurate is Gamer 1. And HDR has been measured at around 650 nits, which is a lot less than the thousand nits touted by LG. Tisk tisk LG, tisk tisk. But at the end of the day, you're sitting so close to the monitor, I personally don't think it's a huge deal. I think the 650 is enough. Could it be 700? Cool, yeah, but you know, whatever. It's the first one. Maybe next year they'll get it up to 1,000. Who knows? Watching 4K HDR movies was also quite the treat. Gamer One has skin tones that look natural and reminds me of how OLEDs are supposed to look. It's such a treat to have an OLED display in such a small size. For those worried about burn-in, LG has implemented a few OLED care features, such as screen move, screensaver, image cleaning, and pixel shifting. 
I believe the image cleaning has already occurred three times during my use of the 27GR95QE. On the productivity side, I did use this monitor for editing YouTube videos, and it was great to have that larger screen for my preview window. The monitor also swivels into portrait mode for those that want or need to work that way. Now up until this point, I have been singing the praises of the 27GR95QE, but there are three things I really don't like about it. The first thing is, there are no speakers. Now my previous monitor did have speakers, and I understand this is a gaming monitor, and if you're gaming, you're gonna be wearing a headset and all that, but there are times when I want something on in the background and just to have like, you know, a TV show on Netflix or whatever happening on the background to hear it. I got to have headphones on or I got to attach some speakers. So it's not a huge thing, but it's something that I didn't even know when I got the monitor. I was just like, oh, what? what there's no sound. So there you have it. And if you are going to use the headphone output, I would highly recommend turning off the DTS headphone audio. That made everything sound really weird and I would not recommend that. Just better to just turn it off. Number two is when you are in HDR mode, you cannot change many of the picture settings. I think brightness and sharpness are pretty much the one of the few things that you can actually change. And the brightness by default is always already at the max. So you, the only thing you can do is like make it darker. So that is something that is bad, especially if you like to tinker with your picture settings, you can only tinker in SDR. Last, but definitely not least, number three, you need to make sure you do not lose this remote control, okay? The monitor has a multifunction button at the bottom, but it is very limited in what you can do. There are many more buttons and many more options that you actually need the remote control to get into. The remote even has specific buttons to change settings quickly. There's a picture mode selector button, hexagon lighting button, an OLED care button, sound output button, and the DTS button. So keep that remote in a safe place. Now I wasn't able to test out 1440p at 240 hertz, but that's not an issue for me. I am happy to report that with its two HDMI 2.1 ports supporting 4K 120 hertz HDR with VRR, this LG gaming monitor is perfect for Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. I've had so much fun going through many games from past to present. You just can't go wrong with the 27GR95QE. Well, maybe we can change that awful name. I don't know. With inky blacks, colors that pop, super fast response time, and an overall better visual experience, the 27GR95QE checks everything off my list for a must-have OLED display. Check out the links in the description below and let me know if this gaming monitor fits the bill for you. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.